Roblox just released a brand new update that we've all been waiting for. Some crazy haunt leaks have happened, and Roblox completely broke. And it was in a very new and refreshing way. <laughs> but before I get into all that, I, I think I hear something. Listen here, partner. If you don't go ahead right now, subscribe to Chase Rooney right now. I'm gonna go ahead and have to trample you with my horse. Yee! Yeah, all right, just do what he said, and let's get into the first story, which just happens to be Roblox being down yesterday in a very unique and refreshing way, because every time Roblox goes down, it's kind of like cut and dry, like thing over and over and over again. But yesterday, it was very unique, because for some reason, whenever people played Roblox games, if you looked at meshes, it would all be broken. And if you don't know what meshes are, it's basically just like parts or like the building bricks of Roblox games. So like, for example, if you look at like cars in games, those are made of meshes. Look at like anything in Roblox games, to be honest, they're made of meshes. Here's one example that i saw a lot on twitter and it's this cave for my i think doors where all the rocks are meshes and for some reason roblox just broke all of them and now they kind of look like shards of glass dude it's like so broken now, i thought this only happened to doors but no it apparently happened to a couple of games such as i saw this tweet right here that says didn't even know roblox could just randomly decimate meshes overnight with a screenshot of a tower of a game that i'm not really sure what game this is but it's just completely broken like you can see through certain parts of the wall and stuff so yeah that yeah crazy bro i've never seen roblox break like this in my life but it has been fixed obviously because this isn't happening anymore and you probably didn't even notice it happened but yeah for like a little bit yesterday it was just completely broken in a very 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 unique way and i think that's uh kind of funny but now we can move on to the next story which just happens to be some crazy updates to the roblox friends list which basically means that the roblox friends list update should be getting up to very very soon because roblox did say that they were going to be changing the roblox friends list limit in increment so like every month or so they would be adding like 50 or 100 to the friends list limit and it seems like as of you know yesterday that has started to happen well actually first they decreased the friends list kind of in a way <laughs> let me show you because roblox rtc tweeted out this that roblox has reduced the number of friends displayed on user profiles from nine to eight for some reason i don't know why they did this if you go to anyone's profile yeah it now just shows only eight people instead of nine but yeah just a random update but on top of that apparently some admins have actually gotten access to having a large your friends list. So I saw this video from Shark Blocks. Shout out to Shark Blocks. Admin named it Nex had 250 friends. So here's Nex's profile, and it is a admin. As you can see, first place uh, at RDC Game Jam 2016. Roblox intern from 2015 to 2016. So they either were an admin or they currently are an admin. Going to the Roblox badges, it doesn't say that they're an admin, so that's kind of interesting. They definitely have affiliations with Roblox, and as you can see, their friends list has 234 people on it, which is pretty cool because max amount of friends is 200 not 234 so that's pretty sick and it kind of just shows that yeah this update is going to be coming out very 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 soon which is awesome but in other roblox uh, update news another ginormous update has been released that is completely amazing okay now it might not seem crazy on the like surface because looking at this bloxy news tweet they just said the updated experience controls menu is beginning to roll out to everyone today and then they just quote retweet a tweet that they made i think a month or two ago oh no it was a month ago where they show off the new roblox menu you might be like why is this a big deal okay well this menu fixes so many huge problems with the website and also allows for new updates like for example the whole like new chat like voice chat feature that roblox wants to roll out where you can basically have like group chats on roblox where you can like talk to each other through voice chat that basically has to do with this new menu because it all ties in together so i assume sometime soon maybe in the next month or two or so i think roblox promised that update this year you should also be seeing that new group chat update thing happen which is pretty awesome so i guess you know the whole menu music thing is going to be released sometime with this new menu which is pretty cool but on top of all of this i think the best thing that this menu does right is that it fixes you accidentally unmuting yourself on voice chat and getting banned bro that has been such a common thing on roblox where basically people will be clicking through menus in a roblox game and they will somehow accidentally unmute themselves in which they will then say like a swear word or something and get banned it's a very common occurrence that has happened to dang near everybody that has voice chat and now that can no longer happen or at least from what i can tell because the only way to unmute yourself on voice chat now is in the top left of roblox instead of above your head which i think is just way better if i'm gonna be honest having to click above your head was so annoying and like finicky sometimes because you couldn't really click through like invisible parts and stuff like that so that was just really annoying and now that is kind of fixed but yeah this whole update is absolutely massive even though it might not seem like it i mean roblox even tweeted out about it because it's such a big deal <laughs> they even have like a little trailer video here where it says access to features scary fast <laughs> scary fast ah thank you roblox there's the whole new capture feature well this isn't really new but, but roblox kind of wants you to use 
more, I guess. So that's more like front and center. And yeah, just a bunch of stuff here. And they also link a dev forum post about this whole new whole new menu. And yeah, I think that's just pretty cool, dude. Because this has been like teased for I think over a year now. And it has finally been released, bro. Super duper exciting. Because mainly, yeah, you won't be getting like banned by accident on voice chat anymore, which I think is the biggest deal here. Yeah, shout out Roblox. I do like this update. It's pretty awesome. But let's move on to the story of the haunt because there has been so much haunt news because roblox themselves actually tweeted out another teaser trailer yesterday for the haunt now i was gonna make a video about this yesterday but i just forgot to be honest they tweeted out the grounds of axbury oxbury i don't know how to say it oxbury manor quiver with anticipation of your arrival with a video that is uh, almost 20 seconds long of just like i don't know the manor i guess with a red sky and then it zooms out and you can see some characters here i think it's like a witch it's it's an arthur character so i'm kind of mad about that but that's okay and then it just cuts to like the haunt logo i wonder if there's like easter eggs in here that you can maybe see but I, I haven't seen any nobody's really been talking about this as much as the other haunt trailers but either way pretty exciting i like to see roblox putting a little bit of effort into like the teaser trailers for their events it makes it a lot more cool now i haven't really seen a lot of hype around this though like unlike the classic event i guess i haven't really seen like too many people going crazy about this but people are still super duper excited like I i'd say it has a chance of being the second best event that they've hosted because I, I still think the classic was pretty good. Like, despite the games kind of sucking sometimes, the lobby was just so good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can see a bunch of people in the comments pretty, pretty hyped about this. But honestly, I haven't really seen it, like, blow up on Twitter. Like, the classic and the hunt, like, went trending on Twitter. They were massive. And this, I don't know, it hasn't really seen that much hype. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just not, like, tapped in, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, bro. But on top of that, there's been even more hunt leaks, such as this tweet that I saw that says, only nine days left until the hunt starts, which, dang, I did not know it was only nine days away. That's actually super, like, close. But there's just now just a big list of confirmed and possible games in the haunt which is pretty cool now this has been compiled by this twitter account right here but let's take a peek at it let me save their image and put it on screen so it seems like piggy ts and pressure are all confirmed to be in the haunt which i think we do for a while now but the possible games is pretty promising because we got slap battles which is good sword burst the mimic we got michael zombies natural disaster he's is actually a pretty cool game b swarm rivals mm2 like there's a lot of heaters in here bro there's a couple like stinkers like i don't know what sumo wrestling sim is sorry if the game's good i've just never played it <laughs> but the saddest part about this event is that confirmed not included games apparently are arsenal doors five nights tower defense and creatures of sonaria which all of those games are pretty massive and i think they've been in events before except for the five nights of freddy's one and yeah i remember doors and arsenal were always like standout games and events because they actually just did such a good job every time and sadly they're not included in this one which is kind of lame but i guess they got to give chances to other games but i mean they did so well each time i feel like it's worth in inviting them back, you know? But either way, we can now move on to some other news, which just happens to be Roblox's new headquarters, bro. Roblox News tweeted out, today marked the grand opening of the Roblox headquarters expansion into a brand new building. And as you can see, here's some pictures of it, bro. It looks absolutely crazy. But yeah, I remember talking about this, I think a couple months ago. It was like the whole thing where they had to like move out of their current office. So then they got another office that was close, I think. I think that's what happened. And yeah, it seems like today they have moved into it officially, which is uh, yeah, pretty meaningless, but I thought it was worth mentioning at least. <laughs> 